So while the new player experience update is primarily focused on, well, the new player experience, it has also made some pretty significant changes across the board to a few implants, suit slots, and other bits and bobs in the game. But are any of them now useful per se? Let's start off with one of the more interesting changes to have emerged out of the update. G'day there once again viewers, this is your mate Kamikaze78 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new and improved ammunition belt certification line. And I gotta say, I recommend sticking it out to the end of this video guys, because boy oh boy, do I have a combo for you guys to try out today. Alright, so a quick recap for the uninitiated. The ammunition belt suit slot got an update that now sees it provide a passive 15% reload speed increase to your primary and secondary weapons, in addition to providing you with the ammo pool increases that you used to get normally. And there's no denying that, in the right circumstances, mathematically, that's a pretty powerful advantage to have. A 15% reduction to your reload times across the board means getting back into the fight just that little bit faster. Now, of course, I decided to start off by testing the slot on weapons that are notorious for your longer reload times in the game. And I think you can all see where this is going. The first weapon I tested this out on was the NC6 Goss Saw. I mean, come on guys, I'm sure we've all dreamt of a Goss Saw that doesn't have a reload time that lets you go out, get a snack, come back and have some time to spare. So for that reason alone, it was first on the list, naturally so. And when you crunch the numbers, it looks pretty attractive, I'm not going to lie. The 15% reload speed buff gets the Goss Saw from a short reload of 6.5 seconds to 5.525 seconds, and the long reload from 7.5 seconds to 6.375 seconds which is crisp by any stretch of the imagination. There's no denying that. I mean, to cut the reload time down by almost a whole second, even for the short reload time is, well, it could honestly be the difference between life and death in some scenarios. So based on raw merit alone, it shouldn't be overlooked. It's a pretty solid advantage to have on weapons that do sport those longer downtimes. And with how engagements flow in planet side, uptime is something that you always want to be on your side. But in the world of planet side by the same token, an upgrade slot can't just be judged on its merit alone, but also against the merit of the other options that surround it. Which is why I find that on LMGs, it isn't the place where the ammo belt shines the brightest in the game right now. While yes, on your LMGs you statistically do get the best return on investment due to it being a percentage based buff on reload time, it's still going to be a relatively long reload for you to cycle through with these light machine guns even with the buff in play. As we said before, the Gold Saw goes down to a 5.525 second on paper, and that's great, it sounds great on paper, but because the reload time is still so long despite the buff, you still need to keep track of your magazine, how many bullets you got left, and take into account some serious downtime to cycle through through that reload. Just because the reload time does get improved by 15%, it doesn't mean that you should start reloading after every kill because you can afford to now. Light machine guns, regardless of the buff, demand that you make the most of your larger magazine size to reload as infrequently as possible, which means that to be as effective as possible, you need to make the least amount of use out of the buff that comes from the suit slot as possible. So yes, while statistically and on paper, LMGs do benefit from the buff the most in the game, the actual effects that the buff has on how you play the class is incredibly limited. And at that point, you're probably better off running a different suit slot that is going to have more consistent and beneficial impacts to your loadout. Especially considering that the barrier of entry for the ammunition belt suit slot on the heavy assault is higher. It costs 50 certs out of the gate. You know, things like advanced shield capacitor, flak armor, or hell, even nanoweave armor in its current state will probably be more impactful for the heavy assault's role on the battlefield, all things considered. However, that's not to say that the slot and its newfound effects are completely useless, because on weapons that act with more of a quote-unquote hit-and-run role, well, they now become a lot smoother to use in turn. You see guys, there's a lot of weapons across the carbine, SMG, and even assault rifle categories that follow the quote-unquote fast fire rate, small to standard magazine size, slow reload time archetype, which often allow for you to get a kill or two per magazine before needing to reload. More often than not, you're better off reloading after every kill, and if you do get a situation where you get a couple of kills per magazine, a reload is basically out of the question and means some forced downtime on the front lines. And in those roles, like Light Assault and the Infiltrator for example, where a big part of the class is controlling engagements and engaging on your own terms, a reduction to your downtime, which comes a lot more commonly than what it would with an LMG, is incredibly powerful to have. One of the weapons that I've been loving to death using this benefit with has been the GD7F, an NC carbine that is pretty much the embodiment of the term bullet vomit. The downside is that it has a 2.7 second reload to boot. With this buff, 
that goes down to a 2.295 second reload. And man, a GD7F with that reload speed just hits different. And in situations where you have a power of position, like what you're seeing in the gameplay here now, and you pop in and out of cover just that little bit faster to go on some murderous rampages, it just works brilliantly, guys. The GD7F's aggressive nature is balanced around its downtime, so a direct buff to that downtime aspect of the balance is incredibly hard to pass up. I also decided to run the Blitz GD10 and the AF4 Cyclone during some testing as well, and I've got to say, while I'm a huge AF4 Cyclone fan, the Blitz also felt fantastic to use with this reload speed buff. With its high capacity magazine and longer reload time, the weapon also has more of a get in there, get a couple of kills before backing out kind of mentality about it. And it's also counterbalanced by a whopping 2.5 second reload time on an SMG. Throw an ammo belt on there and it goes down to 2.125 seconds, which for a 50 round SMG is no laughing matter and makes for an incredibly efficient build that lets you move quickly and be a little bit less restricted by reloading downtime. Once again, the reload benefit truly comes into its own on classes that are best known for more of a guerrilla warfare approach to gameplay and on weaponry that is more likely to be limited by how often it needs to reload to keep things going. Is it enough to be a must pick across the board? Is this the new Nano Eve armor? Well, no, I wouldn't go that far. It's good, and I'll probably run it on a couple of my select loadouts with select weapons, but things like advanced shield capacitor and even adrenaline pump are still incredibly competitive options nonetheless for classes that rely heavily on movement to be successful. This just acts as another option that you can take if you feel it best suits your playstyle. But, like your everyday crappy infomercial salesperson, I'm not done yet. Not at all, guys. While having a reload amped GD7F is all well and good, it's not actually the most fun I've had with the ammo belt to this day. No. The most fun I've had so far is actually combining the ammo belt's newly added buff with a particular implant in the game. Gunslinger. Which, if you haven't heard before, that's fair. It's not necessarily been a meta implant at all. It increases your sidearm's reload speed by X% percent for Y seconds after scoring a kill with a sidearm, getting all the way up to a 25% increase in reload speed for 3.5 seconds. And I'm sure some of you are able to work out where I'm going with this. Because yes, the reload speed buff that comes from Gunslinger and Ammo Belt will stack on your sidearms of choice, offering a 40% reload speed increase should you reload after scoring a kill with a sidearm and with both of these things equipped. So let's use, say, the Commissioner as a case study to get things started off here. This pistol has a 3 second short reload time and a 4 second long reload time. Run this build and that turns into a 1.8 second short reload time and a 2.4 second long reload time. Yeah, that's right, your Commissioner can get down to 1.8 seconds reload. That is insane stuff for a pistol that dishes out the kind of damage that it does. Alright, let's take a look at the underboss. You go from a 2.5 second short, 3.5 second long reload, to a 1.5 second short, 2.1 second reload time for long. Oh my god, the pilot however is almost comical. 1.85 second short, 2.35 second long, down to a whopping 1.11 second short, 1.41 second long. That is insanity. And I'll be honest guys, you won't be able to work out whether or not you're laughing at the silly looking reload animation as your character reloads these weapons looking like he's on two times playback speed on YouTube, or because you're murdering entire helpless platoons with nothing but a pistol that doesn't seem to understand the term downtime. Combine this with a stalker cloaking infiltrator and the max rank vampire implant which gives you 325 health for kills with a sidearm, and I've got to say, you've got an incredibly effective, independent, and extremely annoying cloaker that packs far too much firepower for their own good. The only thing that would make this loadout better is if you could run Carapace at the same time to get the full benefits of Vampire across the board. But that reload speed is far too good to pass up. This is without a doubt a meme loadout that is now a permanent fixture in my build, I reckon, because I just had far, far too much fun using this thing. But guys, with all that said, that is going to wrap up today's video talking about the ammunition belt suit slot and its recent changes in the latest update. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to back in the like button, it goes a long way, and consider subscribing if you're new here. It also goes a long way to support the channel and means you guys get to stay up with whenever we release some new content. In addition, guys, please consider a channel membership. If 10% of my channel subscribers were members at the cheapest tier I offer, it would be absolutely life-changing for the channel and what we could do here. So if you want to support the channel further, it would be greatly appreciated, guys. As always, you can find all my social media links linked in the description down below as well. Once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.